Okay. So let's hope I don't wake him. Oh, I didn't turn on any of my lights. Probably not going to be able to see him. Once I move, he's going to wake up, though. Adam. You're so cute, Adam. Oh, look it. Why are you so lazy, Adam? Huh? All you're doing is laying around. All my blankets are piled up down there because that's how I'm elevating my foot right now. And uh, Adam, <laughs> you're looking at me sideways. Oh, Adam, you're so cute. Do you have hair instead of fur? Do you? And, and do you get little, little, little gross little boogers, eye boogers? Oh, oh, oh. Oh, you want belly rubs. You want belly rubs. You want belly rubs. He's been sleeping with his legs straight up in the air. He's so weird. He'll, just, he'll, he'll stretch his legs straight out like this, and he'll just sleep like that, right? You smell good. You smell like a little Ewok. You're so good, Adam. Adam oops. Oh, you couldn't see that. All right. Sorry. Hi, Adam. Okay, let me turn some of these dim lights on. Wait, let me see if I can put this up here. Hey, Goondocks, I want belly rubs. You're so weird, bro. Do you like belly rubs or do you like to have, uh, like, you know, when someone rubs their hands through your, your hair? That's what I like. That's, like, to me, the equivalent of... Uh, so, anthropologically... Uh, speaking of belly rubs, anthropologically, uh, primates, especially apes, uh, well, not especially apes, including apes, uh, create social bonding through grooming. So they groom each other and they pick the bugs out of their fur or their hair or whatever and eat it. And what anthropologists point out is that because humans use speech, uh, we can create social bonds with something like 4.5 people at a time uh, as opposed to one only one so that's the uh, productivity perhaps or efficiency of human speech that uh, and it's interesting because you know when you point that out going forward socially speaking do a little experiment every single get together party etc that you go to go ahead and count how many conversations occur and you'll find that every single little conversation group does average out to that number. I think it's like 4.5, I think. But go go ahead, go to a party, and you'll count. Like, okay, let's see. There, Here's this one conversation. There's, okay, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, let's look at this conversation. Okay, one, two, three. Oh, let's look at this conversation. Okay, one, two, three, four. And sure enough, it's about that number. I can't remember exactly what the number was, like 4.6 or whatever it was. But anthropologists have studied it, and in fact... Uh, it's exactly that number. It's usually about three to five. That's how many one conversation could hold. And once it exceeds that, another group will break off and then another group and then another group. So as people start to come, those conversations will continue to break up into increasing more and more and more and more groups. Right, Adam? Do you have a conversation? Oh, is he awake? Oh. Oh, he looks like a little Ewok. Is that all you do is just lay around? Well, instead of lap dog, we'll call you lay dog. Oh, here, let me show you. Let me see the, oh wait. Turn all my damn lights on. Oh, hey, are you awake, Mr. Ewok? Mr. Ewok boy? I didn't turn any of my damn lights on. He's also scared of everything. He literally won't even get out of the car. Like when you open the car door, he'll just look at you like, ah, I'm scared. Are you scared of everything, huh, Adam? All See, he's like a little baby. Are you a little baby, Adam? 
Oh, you're so cute. Are you a little baby? Oh, you are. You're just a little baby. <laughs> Look. What a good dog. So he's a Shih Tzu. If I'm not mistaken, uh, yeah, see? He's so chill, you know? And this is my first time meeting him, so it's not like I know him either, you know? Uh, that's how good this breed is. And that's what I love about lap dogs is that they're created for look companionship. If I'm not mistaken, aren't Shih Tzus the Imperial? Oh, shit. There's my cousin. Hey, Daniel. Can you hear me? Hey. Hey, Daniel. Can you hear me? Hey. Oh, um, I'm actually literally, I'm just uh, filming a video of Adam so that I can remember him later and then I'll leave. <laughs> Is that okay? Are you, I'm going to leave in a little, pardon me? Sure, sure. No, no worries. I, I mean, if you're in a hurry, you know, I can, I, it's just, I'm going to miss him and I'm just trying to milk the time. And right now I'm just, I'm filming a video of him so I can watch it again. When I, when I miss him again and I'm holding him like literally like a baby and he's just so good. Is he always like this? Yeah. Do you hold him like this, like a baby ever, or you just kind of let him do his thing? Oh, he's like the ultimate comfort dog. Have you had him forever? Like since he was a puppy? Okay, yeah, so a puppy, he's, he's, so he's purebred? Oh, okay. Did you get him with, uh, what's her name back when? Was that like a joint dog at the time? Oh, okay. Well, you're lucky you inherited him. Do, do, you, do you shower him in the shower? Because he has hair, right? Okay. And, and it'll just grow and grow and grow, like... Like it, it, it can be super long, right? And right, you give them a, the puppy cut, right? I see. Okay. All right. Well, I'll text you when I'm leaving. Sounds good. Okay. All right. Bye. So there, there, there it was. Oh, do you miss daddy? Do you miss daddy? Oh, he's very trusting of people. Yeah, I mean, that's that's what they were bred for. If I'm not mistaken, weren't Shih Tzus the ones that were bred for the emperor's family? So wasn't this like a royal dog, the emperor's dog? Or, let's see, or is this a Tibetan breed that was built for the temples? Is that what it was? Was he a temple dog? Hmm? Are you a temple dog or are you a royal dog? Tell me, Adam. Tell me. Tell me, Adam. This is an interrogation. Oh, look at him. Ah. Okay. And you know what? He's so heavy for such a tiny dog. Oh. Let's see. He looks like he's been smoking some of those temple balls. Temple balls. What are temple balls? Hold on. Temple balls? Like the incense? I know. He does look like he's been smoking something. Look at how mellow he is. He's like, I'm stoned. I can't. I don't, I don't want to do anything but just lay around. And he doesn't eat a lot either. Oh, wait, I can show you my foot. Let me see. Yeah, there we go. So can you see my foot? There's the scar. And I wish I had taken a picture of it earlier when it was still fresh because it looked nasty. I mean, when it was still like an open wound and it was all swollen. So they cut the bone there, right? And then cut part of the bone off and then push 
the bone over and then pin it back down. I saw an x-ray of it. Actually, I have the x-rays too. So, because the, the, the bone is deforming like this. So they cut off this deformed part and then replace it. So um, that's what it looks like. You can still see some of the bruising. Hey, Marcos. Can't stay, but wanted to see how you were feeling. Yeah, I'll tell you what, honestly, um, I was feeling so shitty. I didn't even want to do this short little thing that I was doing that I'm doing now because I felt that bad. But I went ahead and just um, I took a took a pain pill and some coffee uh, so I could film this real quick and then drop him back off. Um, that's how bad I felt. I mean, I just I felt like hell. That's why I haven't broadcast at all lately over the past few weeks, because I just I feel really, really terrible. <laughs> my bother, my bother you, Adam. Yeah, you're bugging the shit out of me, mister. What is this? I need to lay down some more. Here. Oh, see? Adam. Adam. Anyway, thanks for stopping in. I won't stay lying like uh, my cousin, as you heard, if you heard, my cousin wants me to leave in a little bit. So I'll go ahead and take off here in a little bit. Um, right, Adam? You want to see daddy, don't you? You want to see daddy? Hmm? And another fortunate thing is he doesn't hump everything in sight. There's a lot of lap dogs that will just sit there and have like a hump toy and just sit there and hump, 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 hump all day long. Oh, you want to lay down? Oh, you want to lick your balls? Do you guys ever see that Saturday Night Live where uh, Will Ferrell goes to a yoga class and learns to, uh, you know, suck his own cock, basically? And he ends up becoming an old man because he just sits there all day long doing nothing but sucking his own cock. <laughs> it's just, this is the funniest fucking... He's like, what else would I be doing? Shit, I could, I could suck my own cock now because I've been doing yoga, so... I ain't going to do shit else except just sit here and he like ends up growing a beard and shit. Uh, classic shit. Just got. Okay. Hold on. Just got my Vietnam vet bro out of hospital today from back surgery. Getting him situated. Fucking hell. Back surgery. What did they fuse? Hey, Jason. They, <coughs> they fused some. Fuck. They fused. Um some of the spinal cord things together or i mean i'm tempted to get back surgery at this point i mean as miserable as i was as much as i regret this surgery they say the prognosis is good and i've always warned people don't ever 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 get back surgery because i've always seen i've never seen it go well and and i was involved in the whole natural health care thing for so long um but at this point man like i don't see any correcting my back like i realize now it's congenital and I just was born that way um, with the wrong curvature. And if, if I could get that straightened out somehow, we don't live forever anyway. So if I can, if the surgery, the benefits of the surgery outlast the length of my life, then it'll be worth it, right? Um, do you want to say bye, Adam? Uh, good on you, Mark. Because, yeah, I know, that's, that's from the budget guy. Yeah, um, I'm, I, I look better than I feel right now is purely temporary. I just, I downed a little bit of coffee, took a pain pill so I can be functional. And then I'm going to go drop them off. But I, I was not feeling well enough, but I purely, mo I purely motivated to do this just so I could get Adam on film and I could just always look back at this and say, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, my baby, my dad had neck issues from a car wreck. He's had two surgeries and it got worse every time. Yeah. Okay, so I won't get I won't get it. You're right. Yep. L4 and L5 discs were slipped bad. Yeah, I have that too. So, yeah, never mind. I probably won't. I've never seen anyone um, do better from neck or back surgery. I've never heard of it doing better. Always gets worse. So, I guess I'll just live with it. Right, Adam? Do you have neck problems? Do you have back problems? Are you super good? I mean, it's the best. Oh, and he's like the best bed warmer. 
he would just lay down next to me and just keep me warm at night. Right? Did you keep me warm at night? Yeah. Do you sleep when I sleep? Yeah. Are you mellow? Yeah. Do you have any idea what I'm saying? No. Just, I don't know why I can't see. Just got the supply line changed. Oh, okay. Out on the sink. The leak is now fixed. I hope. Um, the supply line, you mean that, 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 that metallic thing? And there was, did it break? Did you, did you just try using silicone tape? Maybe where some of just the joints, uh, not, not super fit. Anyway, I, I don't know. It sounds like, you know, a lot more than me. I, I know so little about repair and stuff, you know, cause my dad didn't have a dad. So he used to always say, Oh, Hey, I'm sorry. I can't teach you man stuff. Cause I didn't have a dad. So, you know, um, he always taught me, Hey, there's somebody who, who's a professional who knows how to do this and it's a lot less headache. So just pay somebody else to do it and just work on making your own money so that you can pay them to do it. So, which is not my philosophy in life, actually. Okay. Maybe catch you brothers on big red. Yeah, maybe I I'll see. That's the one the seal had gone bad. Oh, okay. So you, you just replaced the seal then did you, you didn't have to get a new supply line or maybe they don't sell the seals. Is that, is that what happened? Are you a seal? Is it just that rubber gasket? Later, Marcos. I played three number game gauze in your name today. Take care, brother. Oh, really? That's nice of you. Three numbers games today? There were three numbers games today? Okay. Text me, Jason, next time. Because I just... I mean, even if I were well, I just don't have the time to jump on YouTube that often. I really don't. I mean, and all, although these days it's even worse because I just, I don't have the strength. I'm just, I'm just exhausted and I just feel like hell. I, I mostly just can't hack it. So anyway, probably going to log off here, right? Do you want to say bye, Adam? Do you want a belly rub? Belly rub time. Belly rub time. Seal is contained in the connectors. All oh, right. Okay. So you just had to get a new one, right? Okay. I know what you mean. Because it's got that one, that little joint thing that you screw in and it's got to be inside that. Yeah. So you can't just change the seal. Dang. If it's leaking, you probably, the cabinet that it was under was probably all damaged too. I'll have to put some baking soda down. Oh, hey, our Russians here. Zdrazvucha, Russian bot. Vor. Look at that. They use vor, which means thief. Sorry, Hollywood. Slipped my mind. Three rapid fire gauze on Joe and Scabs live. Jo Joe and Sca Scabs? You mean on choir cutlery? Did a did a did a go? Really? Joe? Who's Joe? Joe, Knife Whisperer? Isn't Knife Whisperer named Joe? Okay. I think my battery's going to die anyway, so. I, I know it's not your responsibility, Jason. I, I I, mean, I ask you to do it at, just purely as a courtesy. I know it's not your responsibility. I, I even feel bad for asking. It's just that I know that I just don't have the wherewithal. I really just don't. You know, I spend way more time than I ought anyway, you know, watching lives and stuff. And so that's why usually I'm doing other stuff in the background. Joe is steel force and fire. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Say bye, Adam. Show everybody your pee pee. Is that your pee pee? Do you have a pee pee? Are you a boy? Are you a boy dog with a pee pee? You like to show your pee pee to the world? Mm hmm. Do you like to lick your pee pee on camera? Do you like to do doggy porn? Yay! Yay, doggy porn. Oh, I'm going to miss him. So sad. Right, buddy? Do you want to go see daddy now? Hmm? You want to go back to daddy? 
my cousin lives downtown in one of those luxury apartments. Maybe I'll post a video of his. They have a Jared Nees were on there today. Oh, okay. I'll have to uh, I'll have to check that out. Thanks for the info. Oh, shoot. I should highlight that comment so everyone can jump on that new channel. So thanks for the the heads up on that. So anyway, thanks for tuning in, guys. And for other people re-watching this, say hi to Adam. Say bye to Adam. And oh, oh, are you just a lazy bone, Jones? Oh, look at his eyes. He's like, hey, what the hell is going on here? Do you look freaked out? Why do you look freaked out? Look at him. He looks freaked out. It's like, hey, what the hell? Neves is live right now, I think. Okay, I got to roll out. Unfortunately, I won't be able to check out. He has good substantive. I think Neves' lives have the most um, useful knife content. I think he, he tries to have an agenda. He doesn't just sort of uh, free flow in a nebulous kind of way like, here's a knife, here's a knife, here's a knife. He tries to pick a topic and, and has co good content. Um, now, as far as the political stuff, uh, yeah, he's a victim of propaganda, unfortunately. But um, I want to do more stuff along those lines. So anyone that wants to talk about propaganda, comment below. And I want to do like a whole show just on propaganda and how to sift, how to sh sift through it using uh rigor you know like intellectual rational rigor philosophical rigor to wade through the nonsense how to determine what is and isn't propaganda and to what extent you know um it's one of the most fundamental uh skills that we're no longer being taught properly and uh as a result we've got this uh this polarization of society, which shouldn't happen. The only polarization we should have is between rich and poor. It's the only, you know, between the powerful and the powerless. It's the only, bi it's the only binary that's ever existed genuinely in society. And for us to have those lines blurred by corporate propaganda is a joke. And to think that a bunch of working class people are sitting here defending uh, the mega rich is just hilarious to to them, you know, the, the 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 rich are laughing all the way to the bank, and you and you damn fools are sitting there, uh, you know, playing your part in, in supporting that the system that that benefits them and 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 rapes from you, you know. I mean, we're talking, you know, your life, the quality of life and the length of it is shortened by your stupidity and your gullibility, right? Are you as dumb as this dog? Hmm. Because this dog doesn't know shit about propaganda. Are you this dumb? Okay. All right. Well, thanks, everyone, who tuned in afterwards, because there's only two people on here. Thanks for tuning in, Jason. And uh, have a good night, everyone. I'm going to have to take him home to his luxury apartment up in the sky, right? Do you live right? Do you live in downtown LA? Yeah? And you have a whole balcony to yourself that you don't do shit with, because you just sit in the apartment. Did you hear about that Chinese zoo that only has one dog in it? No, that sounds horrible. What happened? You mean it's like a front for, for money laundering or whatever? Or is that dog like a rare Chinese breed? Because uh, the Sharpei almost went extinct, and it was actually British people that rescued it from extinction, uh, and that was the kind of the early days of the UK Kennel Club, which is the oldest kennel club, the UK Kennel Club, and then the US Kennel Club is the second oldest. It was a Shih Tzu, silly. Oh, my dad joke, dad joke alert. Okay, you're. Ba I'm banning, Jason, I was gonna make you a, a mod for this channel, but I'm sorry, I'm just gonna have to ban you from this fucking channel, you just, Shih Tzu. Oh, it's a Shih Tzu joke. He made a joke about you, Adam. Adam, there's a zoo just for you in China. It's called the Shih Tzu. Are you a Shih Tzu? Are you a zoo unto yourself? Hmm? 
Hmm? Oh, look at you. Look at you. I'm lazy. And he does this weird thing where he sleeps like this with his neck all stretched out. I'm like, how can you breathe? Why are you sleeping like that, you little weirdo? Okay, Shih Tzu. It's time to say bye-bye, Shih Tzu. Say bye. Say bye to the camera. Say bye-bye, Shih Tzu. Okay, so later. Sorry, I uh, that was completely my my battery. I ended up letting the battery completely die, and I knew that this would be a never ending broadcast if I didn't come back because I, I didn't shut it off. So I'll say one more bye bye, one more bye bye. Say bye bye, Adam. 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 Why are you just a little tiny ball? <gasps> are you just a little ball? Oh, he's like, ah, oh, it's uncomfortable. I'm out of here. I wish there was one more little extra tidbit that I could give because Shih Tzu would have been a perfect ending with the dad joke, but I had to come back to make sure I shut off this live. Otherwise it would never end, but I don't have anything else to add. I don't have any good little gem. What little gem can I, can I show? Oh, I want to open this thing. This is Gerber tether. I have, this is the small, right and this is the large the large has an actual locking mechanism on it so you can lock it and keep it extended i don't know how it works how does it work i've done it before there we go so it pulls out and then you can actually lock it see as opposed to this always returns you can't lock it out in the out position. So that's the difference between the large and the small uh, defender. Right? Are you just perched like a prince? Mm -hmm. Are you so good? You're just so good, aren't you? All right. Good night, everybody. And 10 more seconds, an exactly 30 minute video. Okay, say bye. Say bye, Adam. Bye bye. Bye bye. Oh, you silly boy. You silly little boy. Oh. He's afraid of everything. He won't even get down from the bed. He's too scared to get down from the bed. 
he barely is afraid of the curb. He can, because you're just a little prince, aren't you? Are you just a little prince? Oh look, look. Hey, I'm scared. Hey, I'm sh I'm shocked. I'm shocked at how boring your lives are. I'm shocked at how few subscribers you have. It's shocking to me. Okay. Good night, everybody.